put a lot into the last couple of months since we saw you last. We've done our complete exterior and interior fit outs, all our drainage, driveways and landscaping. The biggest challenges have always been with time scheduling and fitting all our subcontractors in there, keeping everybody happy so they do a good job. We like to give our subcontractors plenty of notice so they know well ahead of time where they need to be, when they need to be here and we work around those problems that way. We're just doing our final touch-ups with the paintwork, get the cleaning team through and the final touches with the landscaping. This development dresses its context really well. Um, for a start it tends to follow the contours of the land and also it overlooks the nice park on the other side. And it's got easy access to the reserves and of course the shopping centre which is about a kilometre away. The development actually contributes really well to the neighbourhood in a number of ways and one of them is the way in which the detail of the buildings creates a sense of vibrancy and it's really nice to be actually live in a neighbourhood where you've got quality buildings addressing the street. Now that I'm in here, it is more spacious than I realised. One of the appealing parts is the indoor-outdoor flow. It opens the space up even more and makes the room friendly, easy to use. Being an apartment, you definitely have to downsize. That's all part of moving from what has been the family home into the next stage in your life. Plenty of space in the lounge with cupboards and shelves, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, wardrobes with storage. Get rid of the stuff you haven't used for 10 years and enjoy clean, easy living. One of the nice features about the design is the, is the way they've actually put the storage units at the back as well as the cars. So people coming and going have a natural tendency to actually meet each other, meet and greet and understand who their neighbours are. The council requirements, uh, we've well exceeded those for our soundproofing through the concrete mid floor and through the block walls. We've moved to using LED lights as standard just to save energy there. And the way these units are set up, they get all day sun from both sides, so they're nice warm little units. And it was a really good idea that Horncastle did. They held a wine and cheese meeting hour for all the owners of the 16 units. It just feels really good that there's such a good mixture of people. And having met them, we kind of know each other already, so it's lovely. I think we might all have a big street party, actually.